Mark Hinton last updated 0711, September 18, 2017. All Blacks coach Steve Hansen believes there is still room for improvement in his team. Steve Hansen believes his All Blacks of 2017 remain short of the standard, even after the record dismantling of the spring box to take an iron grip on yet another rugby championship. After his side ticked just about every box in the book on Saturday night at QBE Stadium, running in eight tries to annihilate the box 570, Hansen might have raised an eyebrow or two when he assessed his team's first half of the year somewhere around a B+. Sure HES a hard marker. The man has been part of consecutive World Cup triumphs, after all. He has been to the mountain top, and he understands when a side is still making its way up towards nosebleed territory. Coach Steve Hansen is far from satisfied with his record-breaking All Blacks. And there was also that British and Irish Lions series to factor in. No matter the opponents, the All Blacks are never content with a drawn series, nor with going to home tests on the bounce without a victory. Read more Hinton is the rivalry dead Hansen ponders squad split All Blacks demolish box Barrett back to best in romp Hansen Lord's spring box shut out so, though the All Blacks give every appearance of heading inexorably back to the lofty plateau they occupied last season, Hansen considers his class of 2017 still very much a work in progress. Albeit one that possibly just unfurled one of the finest performances of the century. We drew a series we should have won after being behind for three minutes of the whole series. We didnt score enough tries, we didnt play enough rugby, Hansen said when asked to assess his team's home portion of the test season. We played pretty good against Australia, and showed composure. Rico Ione had a field day for the All Blacks in the record-breaking win over the spring box on Saturday night. In the early part of this tournament our composure has been outstanding. Even against Argentina with her young side, making the seven changes we did, just after half-time to down by what we were, we could have crumbled. But they stayed strong, came back and won the game pretty comfortably. They get a big plus for that. Then Hansen came to the crux of the matter. The team itself is growing, and the belief in the team is growing as you saw against the box. Some of the young players are making big strides. Ofatu Ungafasi is starting to really look like a test tight head prop. Cody Taylor, who had an opportunity with Dane Coles being injured, comes on now and it's like we've lost nothing, and you're talking about Dane being the best hooker in the world. That gives you a lot of confidence as a team. All Blacks coach Steve Hansen was thrilled by the 570 results against the spring box on the North Shore. Hansen could have continued. Rico Ione has become a world-class left wing in a short space of time on Saturday night. He had 12 carries, gained 171 metres, beat 11 defenders and made four clean breaks. Nia Milner Scudder has slotted back in on the right side as though he has never been away. Damian McKenzie is making a decent fist of fullback. Liam Squire and VA, a five feet are emerging. So is Scott Barrett, and Nepo Lornala has filled in brilliantly for Owen Franks in the difficult tight head spot. The team retains real quality in the key positions. Halves Bowden Barrett and Aaron Smith are back to the best to close to it. Kieran Reid is on top of his game. Brody Retlick too and Sam Kane is setting the tone up front in all the right areas like his team leading 15 tackles on Saturday night. On Saturday the All Blacks were down some pretty heavy hitters, with Franks, Joe Moody and Israel Dag all out injured and likely done for the year, and Ben Smith absent on sabbatical. Yet you would NT have known N. The forwards laid a wonderful platform, the backs attacked brilliantly and the defence was as good as it gets. Hard to D better than nil. Hansen wants to see more of the standard on Saturday night over the looming road component. To that extent, the experience his players are garnering is invaluable, he says. We had a young side against Argentina who had to battle through that game. So they are getting learnings. Then this group contains some of those young guys and you saw the performance go up another level. It's a confidence thing, and his depth continues to grow. He is introducing props and loose forwards, and back three men who are lapping up their experiences. Jerome Kino's absence has barely been felt. The big plus to the injuries is you have to expose other people to the coal face and they have to grow up quickly, added Hansen. At the end of it when everyone comes back you've got a bigger pool. We're not the finished article by any stretch, we've still got a lot more growing to do and we look forward to doing that. Even the non-players are doing the thing.
The All Blacks lineout had a field day on Saturday with five takeaways. Later it was revealed that Luke Romano had masterminded that plan. We've got a big player input. We've got a lot of brains here, so let's use as many of them as we can, said Hansen. Luke thrives on that stuff. H.E.'s good at it, so why would N.T.U. use its stuff?